I mean, like the audio was like not as good as it is here. No, you're right. I know that that fuzz. Th there was that like. There was a lot of fuzz. I feel like that should be fixable, but you're right. I don't know. I'm kind of of two minds about it too, especially if you can't be there all the check, time. Check, check, check. Yeah, if we can't be there every week, it's like, wouldn't we rather set up a? Or we just find somewhere else, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Episode eleven, bud. We it, did it. Double digits. Is it eleven? One, one, wow. one. Wow. Uh, welcome to Two Burrows. I'm Peter Ravello. That's uh, Matt Pavich. That's my name. That's right, baby. And we're here to give you uh, some uh, uh, fun f for about I don't know, forty five minutes to an hour. Yeah. Maybe maybe we'll extend it. You know, if we got some really hot riffs, but that's usually what we're doing here. Yeah, we're just doing riffs and, and, riffs being, and being buds and and talking about New York City, this the city that we're both from. <laughs> uh yeah it's a it's it's good i was just driving around today in the city and uh it's a it's a you, you need you need courage you need courage and i think you need to treat people like they're not real yeah yeah like they're just figments of uh mental illness well or yeah okay yeah or uh like you're playing a video game and the guy like tells you something yeah, and yeah. You just like you just punch him in the face I yeah think they're little crazy. aliens like they're little aliens just running around being aliens yeah and you go this guy can't be from planet earth <laughs> he's wearing no socks and dress shoes and a hat yeah and nothing else this asian woman, walking down eighth ave i was doing this movie this asian woman was just like trying to speak to me in english she's like you have so she had that down she's like you have and then the rest of it I couldn't understand, but it's, I was like, I can't, I can't help I you. I can't help you, miss. Nothing I can do. Nothing I, I want do. to. I don't know, Mandarin. I, or Cantonese. I don't know which one it was, but I'll sure. tell you what, she wasn't, she got you have, though. She wasn't sprechen zu Deutsch? None. It is straight, like, she was living there. She, we did this, it was this apartment building in, like, bed -Stuy. We did this job, and it's. New York is just so full of, like, there's, there's so many cracks to fall into. Like, she's like this 80-year-old Chinese woman who doesn't speak any English. And, and she's living here, no problem. Yeah, and they're just like, yeah, you just, you come in, like, <laughs> you just come in. Not a big deal. Just, you just give us money. Yeah. And, like, I don't know. It's just, it kind of, it's kind of mind-blowing, right? Like, it how is. easy it is. It is. To it live is mind-blowing. Do you think that she, like, brags to people that she lives in New York City? Yeah, I don't, she, <laughs> she phones home on a calling card, if, like, and goes... Yeah, I don't speak any English, and it's it's not really a problem. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, I know you have. You have. And that's all I need, really. Yeah, and it, she seems to be... Living. Yeah, and she's not... Yeah, she must have been like 70 or 80, so she's been here for at least a little while. Well, you don't know when she got here. Uh, I got fired from my job this week. I no longer have employed. Womp, womp. Um, womp, womp. Maddie <laughs> needs some money. <laughs> Uh, so I'll be going back to the moving company as well. Okay. Texted good old close. Yeah. And I said, buddy, I'm back. I need the yeah, money. He's like, who is this, bro? You no, know? he said, he said, no problem. No problem. No whoa, problem. Whoa. He said, we're a little slow, but I'll get you back on the schedule when I can. I said, okay, great. Thumbs wide open. We thumbs wide open. So you got fired. What day did you get fired? On a Friday. I showed up 20 minutes late and my boss said, don't even get dressed. 20 minutes were the, were the tables there waiting already no seems like a bit of a overreaction i know another time i was like 10 minutes and i still got written up i was like what are we doing here guys Ten come minutes. on i'm still setting up there's other people here setting up what do you need me for this is a tough one and he said to me he said uh it's an hr nightmare if i give you the benefit of being late while other people are not and uh, this happened to me before and people said that i was uh giving uh preferential treatment preferential treatment to others and i don't want that to happen again good at, at good old hr office can you imagine a restaurant with an hr department like, well they're a huge hospitality group they have like 12 restaurants maybe that's what it is yeah because every restaurant i've ever worked in it's they, there was the opposite of HR. There was no HR. everyone's fucking yeah there's like just a yeah, hector and he's just uh he'll touch you a little bit but, yeah you know you get to touch back you get to touch you. it's not a one-way street with hector tomorrow's the holiday party i'm thinking about crashing it the holiday they're having a holiday party in february yes yeah that's a dumb place um <laughs> there's no holiday what's the holiday? the lunar well, new year no Is that christmas and new year's we were obviously slammed with parties of our own right so they have it a little later in the year and i think i'm going to crash it i think you should oh and wait today's tuesday <laughs> wait, it's today yeah today's Tuesday. Oh, it's fuck. today it's right now what like like right now right now at two o'clock yeah 
Fuck. Wow. Damn, I missed it. What time is it going till? Four. Yeah, that's just. Everyone's like, there's not going to be any booze. Yeah, like, well, yeah. What's, what's the point of uh, having a holiday party at, at two o'clock in the afternoon in a month? I don't know. I could flirt <laughs> with some of the hostesses. <laughs> I'm fired. Come on. I'm fired. We don't, don't work, even work together here. anymore. We don't work here anymore. We don't work together anymore, baby. I always thought you Come were beautiful. Come on down, Astoria. I love the way you sat people. Show me a table, you know what I'm saying? I want you to sit. You I can want sit you to at sit table me. 20 if you know what I'm saying. I want to f- I want to have sex with your mouth. Table, oh, come table on. Table 20 is my mouth. <laughs> uh, it's a lot of pretty... Well, I mean, I don't know. Maybe you'll go back there. I don't want to start... Uh, no, I'm not going back. Okay, I'm fired. I'm, okay. I got fired. It's not like I got suspended. I got fired. Well, Termi- who knows? Maybe they terminated. He said you've been terminated, <laughs> which I thought was a little much. Yeah, a little stink on that. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna have to terminate you, Matt. You just go. I, just, just tell me to leave, man. I don't know why you have to. Just tell me to get the fuck out of here. Yeah, there's no need to bring more syllables into it. I wrote a funny joke about the restaurant, so I think it served its purpose. That's all that matters. That's yeah. that's that's what it is. If you're a comedian and you can make even thirty seconds of uh, funny out of maybe hours and maybe even years of pain, it's eleven minute joke. It was worth <laughs> it's an eleven minute joke. Yeah, it's my closer. I say, give me the light at eleven. <laughs> oh, give me the light as soon as I'll I land get the sucker. <laughs> I'll land the sucker. Don't worry. How long do I got? Eleven. Got it. Peter's got his jacket on, everybody. Peter doesn't feel at home in my house as cold. many times as he's been here. It's cold. It's cold. I'm wearing a fucking t-shirt. I'm fine. Look at these guns, You live dude. here. Look at my muscles, dude. So I'm very sweat. It's Look disgusting. Look at my fucking muscles, dude. Wow, the biggest thing. I've been hitting the fucking gym hard, Tremendous. Dude. That's great. Yeah. Um, but you're going to need that because, you know, you're not really carrying any plates anymore. So That's true. You need to get that cardio up. Yeah, I'll get my cardio up. You don't seem upset about losing your job. But I again, it's like, who give cares? a fuck yeah. less, dude. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, for I'm one day, I went, I'm going to sleep in. And then I woke up and I said, I don't have to go to work. This is nice. My bank account is upset. My bank my bank statement will will be in the red. And uh, what hopefully, do you mean in the red? Like, you owe, you're going to be owed money. Like no, no. In the red means negative. So you are going to have negative money. I'll have, well, I already have negative money. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you worry about it, okay? Don't I already you have negative worry. money. I'm in the red constantly, Peter. Negative. Uh, negative I haven't done that in overdraft. A while. Okay. I'm the overdraft king. They love me over at Chase. <laughs> Thirty four dollars. They hit me with boom overdraft fee. Boom overdraft fee. Overdraft fee. Overdraft fee. Overdraft fee. It's kind of crazy that they even like a let like they allow you to do that. No, they should just not. go. Oh, you should, no more money. No, no, it's smart because then I get that thirty four dollars as soon as I get that paycheck. Yeah, like yeah. Right. Yeah. That's like, how they work. That's how banks work, Peter. Yeah, they scams. Yeah, negative money. It's been a while, but I, I was teetering for a little while, and it's like month to month, and you're like, is it going to happen? And I always pull out in the end, but maybe maybe that's going to come to an end, you know? Yeah, negative. maybe you'll pull in. Maybe, maybe you'll come in life, dude. I, uh, yeah. Come I, in that bank account. What do you spend your money on? Food. Okay. Ubers. Mm-hmm. Um, Ubers are good makes you feel important it's a bad investment <laughs> i could have a car yeah i can make a car payment with the amount of money i spend on uber every month and i don't drink so it's like why would yeah. well, i have a fucking driveway it's a no-brainer that's true but i don't have enough money to put down you can get a car my credit is bad yeah but there's, there's all those they always have those commercials like bad credit no credit just yeah, be but then they they hit you they always there's always there's a catch man you think you could trust those people you can't. You can't trust these car salesmen. You can't trust car salesmen. You can't trust comics. You can't trust bookers. <laughs> you can't trust the people over at the restaurant. You can't no. trust anyone, dude. So, don't yeah, if you're trust listening to this right now. Soul. Yeah. You don't even trust yourself. No, you could trust yourself. Oh. Okay, trust yourself. Don't trust your spouse. Don't trust yeah. your mother. Your crazy don't wife who's in father. the attic. <laughs> you can't trust her. You know, you think she's like, I'm better now, and they're never better now. They're never better. They're never better now. Peter they say that they're better. She was stealing China. <laughs> she thought she was the Queen of England. I said, Oh, this is not this. Oh, well, the Queen of England would never take a shit in the bucket. <laughs> and she just said, That's actually a good point. She sobered up in that. She was became clear in that moment. She's like, Oh, you ever actually? She walked right? herself back up to the <laughs> yeah. attic. You're right, Peter. <laughs> You're right. I can't. I can't argue with that. I'm like, thank you. I'll be upstairs with the medication. It's just a huge syringe. <laughs> they were trying to get me on the syringe for a while. 
Who's they? The psych ward. They uh, wanted to. Because I would to just get... stop taking my medicine, but if they inject it in you, it like um, little doses come out the whole month, and mm-hmm. then you can't not take your medicine. Oh. Yeah. And I was like one psych ward visit away from them legally being able to do that. Being able to inject wow. me. Yeah. So uh, you're like, so if you go to the psych ward one more time, that's. No, I think it was like if you're in here again this year, we're going to start syringing you. Okay. And I didn't. I didn't go back, Peter. It's been it's four free. years. Four years. Four years since Maddie had a manic episode. And now, and you know what? It's coming. <laughs> <laughs> It's right around the corner. It's right around the corner, but you know what? Le- keep stay tuned because we're gonna. Uh, how like craven and sick would that be? If like, we did that, episode, if we're just like, I have dude. a gold chain. Yeah, yeah. Man. And I'm just like, <laughs> dude, what's going on, Peter? Two burrows. It's fucking awesome, man. Life is good. You want to hear the song I just made? Uh, yes. And yeah. uh, if you're a Patreon subscriber, uh, you can listen to this song if you if we got donation a donation of funds. <laughs> we got a fucking Patreon, Peter. That's fucking awesome. Yeah, and that's and that's, but that's kind of what we're doing. Please do use my mental illness yeah. for profit. Let's try to let's try to springboard. And yeah. Just like, all right, this is what's going to bring us over the top. Yeah, Matt's having a manic episode. And Get him we, on a mic. Put him in front of a camera. <laughs> make some money off this fucking thing. I mean, that's kind of what they're I doing. Don't, to Kanye. Well, no, just like I'm just thinking, like Mr. Beast. He, Mr. Beast. He was uh, he. A thousand people he gave yeah, eyes he, to. He, yeah, he gave cataract surgery to, and it's just um, it's. It's like good. It Objectively, good. it's good because Objectively, now there's the a world thousand. Is a better yeah, place. Right, there's yeah. more people who can have clear vision and they can see things. But then it's like performative. Yeah, yeah. You're like, okay. Well, what if you didn't have the cameras? Like, well, what's fun in that? And just helping people. And, and then the, the thumbnail is very. The thumbnail is like, <laughs> I am a god. I am Jesus Christ, Latter Day Saints. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. It is crazy, but he's a crazy guy. We should have him on the pod. I. I I I watch him, and like it is like he what what is it about him that's so good like what, like because I'm he looking was, at he his just face got in early. and the way he talks he uh, got in early and he figured out YouTube analytics and all that the stuff that we don't know how to do he figured it out he is like I mean uh, aggressively normal looking yeah our our show is at least fifty times better. I would argue. Uh, well, we're not healing anybody. Well, we will. <laughs> we will. If you sign up for our Patreon that doesn't right. exist, we will heal people. Give us all of your maladies, and we're yeah. we're gonna bang them out. And t- like you know, if uh, and we're gonna we're gonna be like, all right, easy to hard. So yeah, like, yeah. if you have an ingrown toenail, easy, easy. All right, we'll take care of that. Um, Down it, syndrome. Okay, that's a little tough. Give us some time. <laughs> give us some time. I'm not saying we can't fix your boy. <laughs> I'm just saying give us some time. Give us <laughs> a little bit of time in the lab. We're doing some chromosome research. I was talking You have one of mine. Yeah, have one of mine. Yeah, I'll take one out if it's possible. I was talking to uh my uh, couple my ma- friend uh the uh, married couple and they were talking about they were talking about having children and which ones, like what illnesses would they would, you know, they Abort. would get it at, yeah, an ABO. They called it ABO. ABO. It's like, okay, all right. All right. Um, Down syndrome seemed like that was on the menu for them. They were like, okay, well, if we, we'll have a Down syndrome yeah, yeah. child. And then there's like other more horrific diseases. Like, yeah, if they're uh, like in a wheelchair their whole lives, come on. Yeah. People with Down syndrome can drive. Can my, they re- my Uncle Pat had a license and he was one of the best drivers of all time. I didn't know that. Really? Yeah. Interesting. He loved driving. Can you vote? Yeah. What kind of fucking question is that? (laughs) If you have down, Jesus. Well, I don't know. But can everybody vote? Like, so, like, say you're a citizen of the United States. Is there a level of of handicap? Is there a level that you people, a man in a suit, comes to your house and goes, "You cannot uh, vote. You can't. Not for you, sir, (laughs) madam. No." Uh, no, I think no matter how handicapped no matter you are, what, you, can, you vote. can vote. Yes. You're a person. You uh, can vote. Okay. Interesting. There should be some people that are not allowed to vote. I got We got to figure this out. I don't really, I guess so, right? What, but I'm trying to think of something like, well, what's like the worst, uh, what's like a horrible genetic disease that, uh, uh like, and, uh, and, like uh, your, personality your disorder, like a fucking, uh, split personalities or something like that. That might be hard to vote. One yeah. side of you is Republican, one side of you is Democrat. 
<laughs> no, the other, yeah, right. You would think, but actually, the other side is actually Green Party. Green he's, Party, he's yeah. a big fan of the yeah, yeah. environment. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't. Know. Maybe you're right. Everyone right? can vote, dude. Everybody. Prisoners, uh, ex-cons cannot. They which can. I think is fucked up. If yeah. you did your time, you should be able to vote. Yeah, if you're a felon, you can't vote. But which is yeah, fu- I honestly did. think that's fucked up. You did your time. Yeah. Maybe while you're in prison, you shouldn't be able to vote. All right, but you get out. You know, you should be able to vote. You should be able to vote. I mean, you know, so what? You held up a, a store at gunpoint. Who cares? Who hasn't? I have. And I will. We're going to edit that out. <laughs> give me the fucking, give me your money. You want to die? Bit. And then, you know, flash. Give me your money and vote for Biden. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a lot of good policies. He's a little older. I'll, I'll admit to that. He's in town. Is he really? Yeah. POTUS is here, baby. Joe Biden. Joe Biden. He probably thinks he's in fucking Maryland, but he's here. 80. He's 80. He's 80. He's 80. He's an 80-year-old man. My grandfather is 90, and he's more equipped (laughs) to be president of the United States. Yeah, your grandfather is 90 years old. We're going to have my grandpa on the pod. I can't wait. He's a lunatic, man. He's got some real bad ideas for the future (laughs) of this country and the future of the world, and his politics are absolute dog shit, and he's going to come on here, and he's going to argue, and it's going to be a wild time. So stay tuned for that episode. There's going to be a lot of editing. Grandfather, yeah. There's going to be a lot of editing. Um, We're going to have to edit out a lot of things he says. How many things? You, I mean, what's the over under? Going to be four or five minutes long. (laughs) Episode's going to be short. It's going to be a short. What's your What's your grandfather's name again? Lawrence. All right, Lawrence. How's it going? Uncle Larry. Uncle Larry. Uncle. Grandpa Larry. Okay, you said uncle though. My uncle's name is also Lawrence, so I got I confused. I see. I got confuzzled. I see. Well, I can't wait to meet your grandpa. Maybe um, you gotta see the way he lives. He lives in absolute squalor. Oh, that's. Um, <laughs> he eats uh, Chef Boyardee. Yeah, that tracks. And he likes to make home improvements um, with like household. Uh, things he, he's got this one wall of all of his bills and his will and all of the stuff that if he if he die if he croaks as he says right that's my mother will easily be able to access all of the documents but it's literally a wall an entire wall with just binder clips and string uh, drilled into the wall it's a wild sight well and if you pay if you get uh, become a subscriber ten dollars a month. We'll show you that house. We'll show you the house. We'll show you we'll the show house you of a man will. who needs, I don't know, more supervision, I guess. But, I mean, he's living he on his own. He needed a wife. He needed a wife. His wife died when he was uh, forty, less than 40 years old. Oh, wait. That's your that's your grandfather, the one who was, uh, was married to the, the, your Haitian grandmother? Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. And he lost his mind, dude. He just never recovered. And yet and yet he still lives. He alone. Lives alone. It's kind of impressive. It is. He never remarried. Right. Well, you know, he loved my mother, my grandmother. Um, he never remarried. Much. Never yeah. remarried. He had a lot of girlfriends. Okay, like my grandfather right. was a good-looking guy. I was about to say he was he was getting it in. Oh yeah, he was getting it in all over town. <laughs> he has this uh, Ukrainian woman now, and uh, Lada, and uh, she once famously quoted. Uh, she said, "Your grandfather is like judge, so distinguished." <laughs> like a judge he's not a judge he no. was a teacher he was a, a language teacher for many years um, I like that this Ukrainian woman was so taken with your, your gra- he I, loves him she, he, she showed up to the hospital when he had his heart attack and uh, she's like why not me why not me take me instead then- <laughs> <laughs> no she's a devil woman um, oh yeah my grandfather has promised her Daughter money when he dies. Oh. Much to the chagrin of my actual family. Aunts, my mother well, you got and a lot uncle. Of drama. A lot of, there's a lot of drama there. Oh, yeah. My other side, my dad's side, my my grandfather sold a house for 1.6 million euros and didn't leave us a cent. Wait, did someone on your dad's side? My dad's father, my grandfather. Your gra- and he did, have you met him before? Oh, yeah. His name's, well, his name's Mila, but we call him Dido because that's how you say grandfather in Croatia. So that's why you don't talk to him. He's dead. Okay, well that's another that's another reason. Yeah, two r- good two reasons. Good reasons. <laughs> <laughs> why don't you talk to your grandfather anymore? Well, yeah, why he's he, dead. He kind of gave and us also, any money. he didn't give us one point six million dollars. Yeah. 
So he spe- so was it something you guys did? Like who did he give it? Who did he shower the wealth on? He uh, he married. He he was with another woman who took care of him in his older age, and he bought her a house and he bought her a condo. When will and it be enough for this woman? She's uh, an evil, evil witch with the voice of so, so shrill. It's a shrill, mm. shrill, cunty uh, <laughs> vibe. And she has this wood cabin right in the right in the heart of Kojano, where my family's from. Oh, Croatia. Yeah. So, but I don't understand. Like, I, I feel like it happens with old men a lot, where they, you just if you just pay attention to them for the last 10, 15 years of their cook, life, cook for them. A that's the bit. most important. They just so wow. This, all that before, all that love, and I, I both there's nothing. My this kids. is what really. Who cares matters. about my kids? He left us a house, which is cool. But one point six million dollars. Euros. In Croatian money? Oh, in euros, sorry. Yeah. So that, no, that's pretty good. More. Yeah. Wow. It's all gone. We looked in the house. We thought he might have put it in a mattress or the walls. <laughs> it's all gone, but yeah. it's been spent. Adios. Well, how do you say goodbye in Croatian? Bog. Bog. It means God. Wait, really? Yeah. Bog? Bog. Like Bog. bogey. Bog. Bog. Well, that's, that's all. That's Bog, folks. <laughs> That's God. Oh, uh, man. Well, I don't know. I, 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 luckily, my, my grandparents all uh, died with nothing, so I didn't have to worry about yeah, anything. Yeah, you didn't have any splitting. European drama. No, 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 no. I, uh, this we, is a big thing in Astoria. What's you know, that? A lot um, of people get a lot of grievances over... Yeah, their parent, the grandparents die, and then they leave the house to one of the cousins or something, and everyone goes, well, what about me? I wanted mm-hmm. the house in Greece. That's what happens when you have that many, you know, you can't have that many kids. You didn't visit enough, Stavros. Okay, Dimitri? No, go see your grandfather. Go see your fucking papu. Yeah, see your papu. That is true. Like, you got to put in the effort. Just because uh, you're like, oh, he loves me. It's like, he might. But you got to curry favor. There's a way to to do it. Show up every day, ask him like, oh, what was your first memory? You know? Well, he didn't speak any English. So that's not good. our entire relationship was me going, Tito. And he would go, Mate. Yeah, that's not really a foundation and I'd go, for Tito. any relationship. And he'd go, Mate. And he's just like, And then okay. he would cry, and I'd say, I love you. And he would say, I don't understand the love. <laughs> he's like, I, He's trying to tell you in uh, Ukraine or uh, Croatian. Croatian that he's just like, Yeah, I'm, I'm seeing somebody else. I, I don't love your grandmother. I won't be giving you any money. Yeah. But he knew your name. He didn't know my name. And he gave me $10,000 once, which was oh, pretty cool. Oh, come on. What are you pissing and moaning about? I blew it. I blew <laughs> it. I blew it all. Ten grand. Ten grand Bam. cash. Bam. He gave you ten grand in cash? In euros, yeah. And I took it on the plane, yeah. which is illegal. Is it? Yeah. Wait, um, why? I guess there's... there's you're certain- not, well, that's the actually the legal limit is 10000 cash. That's what I thought. And I had it right here in my breast pocket. The euro money is so funny oh, looking. beautiful. You like it? I th- I hate the way it feels. It's like the laminated. Yeah, I love it. Oh, I had 10,000 of those. Damn. 10,000 fat ones and I blew it all, mate. Who did you, wait, who's on like their biggest bill? Like, I don't know, they have like a thousand dollar bill in the, in the, the euros? There, it was in all 200s. All two, wow, they have a $200 bill? Yeah. That's pretty sick, actually. 200. I wish we had a $200 euro. bill. Who would be on it? Mm. Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton. Yeah. yeah, gun to my head. Mm. Yeah. It's got to be. It's got to be H. It's got to be H. Dog. H. C. She's never held uh, office, but um, she's well, as I mean, queer as a. She's as queer as a two hundred dollar bill. bill. Yeah. <laughs> she. Uh, wait, do you remember who's on the two hundred dollar bill? The the euro. No. Two hundred euro. No. Probably Fuck. like Stanislavski or fucking some. Some guy. Some guy. Is it the Brits? Do the Brits have the euro? No, you go. Everyone has it. When they did it at one time, the Brits had the pound. The so Brits there had wouldn't the be pound. a Brit. Yeah. There wouldn't be a Brit. Interesting though. Wow. Well, you got ten you grand. Never know. You never know. Let's I've never look. got. Did we get ten euro? grand? Not in one. Not in one sitting. Yeah, it was nice. You're just counting it on the plane. No, I was giving terrified. it away to the. The, 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 the steward. I was terrified to even be traveling. There's a lot more it? where this came from, sweet pea. What countries are on the euro? Whose keep, face is on the keep euro? Keep feeding me. Keep feeding me that. Um, what countries are in the Beet juice. EU? What pictures are on the euro? Not euro coins. Yes, I'll have some more borscht. Borscht. So we're out of borscht. Well, I don't think you are. And then you just flash your little $200 bill. Yeah. Forget it. His Holiness, John Pope Paul II. Wait, really? 
is on the coins. All right. Yeah, we got one. So the do- denominations of the euro are the 100. They have a 5, 10, 20, 50, 100, and 200. I love the $200 bill. And the 500. Oh, I love the I like that one too. Yeah, let's take a look here. Who's on the 200? I, I hope it's, um. you know what? I don't know who I hope it is. Maybe uh, Jeff? No, not Jeff. Jeff, Jeff sucks. Who's I want it Jeff? to be. Winston, is it Winston Churchill? I feel like he's gonna, he's probably going to be a, he's going to get a lot of credit. No, it's a pound. God damn it, Pete! Not a euro. Who's a big European fellow? I don't know. Oh, I got I don't know. I don't know who's big in Europe. Who's a big Croat? Um, Matt Pavage. Matt Pavage, maybe. There's it's not it's it's just buildings. <laughs> it's just buildings. Look. I like that about the European the European Union. It is sort of like let's just do let's just do buildings. Can't get upset about that. There's a hologram patch. It's made of cotton fibre. Oh, the designer I, was Robert Kalina. And that sounds the National Bank of Austria. Mm, see, that's why you got to get the uh, European. He also designed money. the banknotes for Azerbaijan Matnot. Yeah, it's just it's That's just buildings. Job. There's no people on the bank notes. That's for the best. Which is smart because people yeah. get mad, you yeah. know? People get mad. They say, Why is so and so on the ten dollar bill? Why is so and so on the hundred dollar bill? What are they gonna do about a building? Blow it up? Probably. It's hard to find though. No, it's not. Find a building? Well, that the, the building that's on the bill, they have to go find it and go, oh, that's like a lot to do. Mm. But if it's a person, you go, all right, I'm I'll go, find that fucker. I'll fuck, I'll find that fucker. I'll find stalk their Instagram. <laughs> So, all right, so you got 10 grand, and then I don't know what you blew it on. But that's, that's was it fun? life expenses. Was really. it fun? No, I, I was uh, very depressed at the time. Mm. And was living with a lady. lady. And uh, we would just order takeout. And you love taking out food. I love takeout. Bro. You love it. You love it. Chinese food, uh, yes, please. Hello. Did Who's it? the herb of the week, Peter? The herb of the week? Mm-hmm. I'll tell you who it is. Who is it? I don't know if you saw this, but the Eagles, they won. The Philadelphia Eagles oh, football, yeah. they won uh, this Sunday. They're going to represent the NFC in the Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. And the Empire State Building was green. Was green and white. We're not in Philadelphia. That That's, that's, that you kind of a herb for doing You're a herb. It. Yeah. Did you figure out who did that? Um, no, I just, there's a committee where you just, you, I guess you just, you can just buy, Submit. you can go, Hey, I want to, I want it to be this color. And it's like, well, why can't New York have its own thing? I you know, it's fucked up. The Jets colors are green and white. Yeah, but you and we are wasn't. not in the Super Bowl, my friend. We no. weren't even close. We did not even make the playoffs. No, it's a different green. It's a different green, Peter. And that's what my, that's what I'd like to bring up is, is the different color greens. green. Yeah. <laughs> the shade of green. What's your Finally. favorite shade of green? Oh. Uh, so oh, just uh, I like um, Hunter Green. No, Kelly. Kelly's a beautiful color. Kelly Green, Forest Green. Uh, for this, these, those all these all sound like people. Kelly Green, Forest Green. They're a nice one family. Time, Kelly Green and Forest Green. <laughs> you know the Greens down on Mulberry. She's a nice girl, but she's a little. There's something slutty. off. She's a little slutty. She's wrong. But yeah, I would say the Empire State Building. That was very. Like, that was what fucked are, up. What are we doing here? What are we like, doing? I don't understand. Philadelphia is three hours away. Well, yeah, I mean, it's like two, but still, like if it has well, if no you're speeding, <laughs> right? Well, they would never, like you would never see them do that in Philly. No, you would never Philly have to see the Giants colors that. over Philly there. Philly would no. never fucking do that. And they're and animals. Thing, the Giants they're animals. are in the fucking same conference, so it's kind of disrespectful to the National Football League. Okay, well. <laughs> <laughs> like you took took a sip. You're like, all right, I'm gonna unload and then I gotta re I gotta refuel. Pretty cool to have this, huh? It's uh, yeah, I'm right. It. it does seem like it's one of my prized possessions. Yeah, I got you've it had it for TJ a while. Max for four dollars. A long time ago, I'd imagine, right? No, no, no. I just got it. Oh, just got it. Wow. Well, looks retro, right? It does. It looked like something that. Um, and that brings us to our sponsorship <laughs> segment of the the. This is TJ Max. Gatorade. Oh, it's Gatorade. Is Lemon it in you? Lime. You see those commercials where it's like there's like ugly people drinking Gatorade now? No. It's not great. They're dumbing it down? A little. They're just, I don't know what it is. It's just, uh, I well, like Peter the, and I are not ugly. I and like I the, love Gatorade. Yeah. And look at how big my muscles are. He's the biggest He's the biggest boy I've ever seen in my life. Big boy. 
But yeah, I don't know. This is the Gatorade commercial. You've never seen that one? It's just like there's like a couple of slobs. A little bit. And you go, well, can we not? I always thought it would be funny if I did get sponsored by Gatorade and I had to bring a Gatorade on stage with me everywhere I went. Wouldn't that be funny? The what? first non-athlete to be sponsored by Gatorade. Yeah, that would be kind of cool. Yeah. That's why they haven't done happen. that. It's never going to happen. But vitamin water, please. They give a sponsorship to anybody. Left and Those right. Loosey goosey. They don't oh give my a God. fuck, man. Do you play you, you, you curl? You're, you're curling champion? Please. Vitamin drink water. vitamin water. Yeah. Oh, God. Um... But yeah, so that's my herb of the week. Herb Empire of the week, State Building. Empire State Building. Which is the weird. Whole building, building, the whole, the whole committee. Building. Yeah, you've tainted it. You've tainted the... the. Let's go Eagles. Let's go Birds. Fly, Birds, fly. How about you fly back to Philadelphia? Gee, whoa, cool it. No. Cool I it. I won't cool it. Fly on back to Philly if you want your fucking... What Ow. fucking dumb building do they have? That I, fucking little ass skyline that's they do for have. the fucking birds? <laughs> that's why they're named the Eagles. <laughs> Because their the fucking is skyline for is for the birds. Yeah, they really, it is kind of lame. Like It's they, disgusting. It's I a know. horrible skyline. It's not good. It's not a skyline. It's like three buildings. It's three buildings. And then people go, I went to the Rocky Stairs. And it's like, they're just stairs. They're just stairs. It was a movie that happened a long time ago. He didn't fucking kiss him. No. He jogged on him. And that's what the fucking Chiefs are going to do this Sunday. Nice. Next Sunday. Next Sunday. Is jog all over those rocky steps and beat <laughs> the Philadelphia Eagles because the Chiefs are superior. It is cool that the two quarterbacks are black. That's the first, first time, time ever. First time in history. First time ever. First time in history. I don't think of Mahomes as black, though, but I guess he is. Like, I just like. Oh, well, come on, Pierre. I, well, I don't. I don't know. What do we say about saying stuff like that? I just don't see him as a black man, but I guess he is. He's a black man. But Patrick he's mixed, Mahomes though. is a black man. But he is mixed. Okay, he's just, a black man. I'm just saying. I'm just. I'm, I'm making Stop sure that I'm not to wrong. Discount the the I'm, fucking. No, I'm all for it. I think it's really awesome. Experience that this first time, of a black man. It does seem odd. It's the time, the first time that there's two black quarterbacks like ever. It's like. Is it well, really I remember. That rare? I remember. I remember a few years ago, the first time a black quarterback ever made it to the Super Bowl was Donovan McNabb. I believe he was the. F no, it was really. Maybe I'm wrong. I thought it was like Randall Cunningham or something. We get into the weeds about it. But yeah, if you like sports, I know. Sometimes you listen and you're like, I don't know if I like sports. Well, this is uh, more than sports, okay? It's about race. <laughs> and everybody, everybody likes race. And you should know these things. So if you're Doug an ally. Doug Williams. I'm sorry, not Donovan McNabb. Yeah, I feel like Doug Williams of the Redskins. Uh, that was in... Uh, uh, 1990 something. It was Patrick Holmes and Jalen Hurts. Okay, that's not what we're talking about. That's exciting, about. though. First two black quarterbacks. I mean, first quarterback, uh, first Super Bowl with two black quarterbacks. Very exciting. 35 years ago, uh, in 1988, Damn. he led the Washington Redskins. Whoop, no, don't say Redskins. Washington football team to a 42 ton comeback victory over Denver, which is pretty cool. Okay, so that was a long time ago, obviously. But after that, there was a, a dry spell. And then I believe uh, maybe, maybe someone man. was like the second black quarterback of all time. In the it's pretty awesome. So I don't know who to root for now. What do we root who the heck, for? Who the heck do you even root for? Who root for if it's the, champ, the Chiefs versus the Eagles? I'm going to root for Mahomes. Not because he's mixed. Um, because he's playing the Eagles. And Fuck I don't the, like Eagles. the Eagles. Yeah. Fuck Philadelphia. So I want to be clear about that. No, I like to be Philadelphia. It's a good city. A lot of good people came from Philadelphia. A lot of oh. good comics that Whoa. I like are from Philadelphia. Remember when they came in? I don't really care for this. Mm. I liked it better when you were... Yeah, fuck the Eagles. There we dude. go. That's more like fly, it. Huh? Fly, Eagles, fly right out of this state. <laughs> Get out of here with your Philly trash and your Johns. I hate when they say John for everything. What do you mean? Like, oh, this John... That oh job. God! It's a dumb wah wah and the hoagie like the hoagie. It makes it makes me my a cousin. Hoagie. She's I like her very much, but she's from Philly. Well, it, yeah, she she like reps it. I'm like, yeah, I wish I wish it wasn't like this. Rep it. Be embarrassed. Do the right thing. She didn't call them Reese's. She called them Reese's. Re that I mean, how 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 what are you doing? You, how can you oh, be you so know. wrong? How can you chill out, oh, Sebastian? You know. yeah, <laughs> Why are you going? I go to the bank and I'm giving money. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. Like it's you know you shouldn't you, you know you shouldn't just do that. Um, do what? Like just steal from people. But I mean, come on, why not? That's not stealing. I mean, uh, it's just it's just being a an Italian person in America. No, it's it's stealing, Sebastian. <laughs> Um, but yes, people from Philly, they need they need to do they need some work. Ringing the doorbell. 
We used to run a dog bar. Now nobody rings a dog bar. It's fun though, right? Yeah, it's fun kind of good. Sebastian, yeah. yeah. What are we at? What do we got? We are at 34, 35. You want to call it? Do a little shorty? Mm. Or you want to keep talking about nothing, Peter? Let's push it. Let's push it. Let's push it to 40. Can we do it? You better fucking believe it, pal, huh? Yes, with Sebastian Maniscalco, not from Philly, he's a Chicago guy, whatever. Whatever, dude. But who cares? But yeah, so that's what I'm rooting for. I'm rooting for Patrick Mahomes in the Super Bowl. Uh Uh-huh. And uh, hopefully bring down those Phillies. And then uh, I'll never, I never want to see those colors on the Empire State Building again. Ever. There's no reason. Unless it's the Jets. Unless it's the Jets. And then, here's yeah. something. Here's something that happened. So next, this month is the Super Bowl. Right. February. February. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's also the Oscars. Oh, it's yeah. also the Grammys and President's Day. Busy month for such a little. So m- we have to months. change our lobby comedy that is usually on Sundays to mm-hmm. Mondays. And I texted this you this month only. This month only. Okay. I texted you. Can you do that date still? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so Peter and I will be performing on Monday together. If you'd like, are a fan of the pod, you should come on down to Lobby Comedy. Tickets are only $10, and it comes with a free espresso martini. Are you kidding me? That's a pretty good deal. Uh, we had 60 people there last week. It was jammed. Everyone was hot. People were making out. It was very cool. Was it a good show? Fantastic. Brittany Carney came in and fucking lit the roof on fire. Wow. Yeah. I love Brittany. Um, she's so that. funny. What a little weirdo she is. Um, <laughs> a Lingon Mitra came in and crushed. Okay, yeah. Naomi uh, Carav- that Caravani. One, that one, Erica yeah. Spira. Wow, a lot was, of ladies. A lot of ladies. I great, love it. It was a great show. More ladies in comedy. Here, here. Women are funny. Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, they sure are. Um, but yeah, that sounds like good. I found that usually shows with hot people in it, it not, not, they kind of suck. Hot well, people are not the them. good audience. We yell at them up front. We say, look at you fucking good looking fucks. Right, right. Everyone's going to come out here and think you're good looking and you don't fucking laugh. If you don't fucking laugh, you're I'll a little kill you. bitch. Did I ever tell you the story when I was working on uh, Joking Off? No. So me and Matt Richards are partners on the show Joking Off and they hired all these models. Mm-hmm. to come and be audience members. And uh, one of the producers goes up to this group of models and they're like, you guys aren't laughing. This is a comedy show. Like, you got to laugh. You got to laugh. We're, we're going to move you if you don't laugh. And this lady goes, well, we are models, not monkeys. <laughs> and Matt Richards looks at her and goes, yeah, but your titties out. Uh, <laughs> the whole room went hysterical. They got up and left. These two models got up and left. See the models, models They take themselves they, they A little too seriously They don't have good senses of humor Because and, when you laugh you, you look ugly I guess I mean Yeah you do look Most of us look ugly When you laugh It's yeah. an un- involuntary thing You don't have control over it So yeah You're gonna look ugly Yeah This is fucking stupid But yeah I find that you, If, if you're you know, in, Inside a comedy When you have a hot audience Hot audience members It's like those don't tell shows, you start like, okay, this is going to be... But that's why we yell at them. That's right. why we... Uh, You're ugly on the inside, which is worse. Your soul is ugly. And then they, then, those, then that's how you get them. You lather them up a little bit. I don't yeah. wanna, I got to lather myself up. I had. I got a rash. Where'd you get a rash? What? Oh, come on, man. Are you kidding me? On your leg. Grow up. On your balls. <laughs> Behind your ear Getting warmer No uh, I had it on my leg I don't know It's like mystery I got hives I moved this uh, couple About a week ago And then uh, I, came, I came home I'm just covered It looked like sunburn It was gnarly I had to get like All over On my tum tum I wonder what you're allergic to I know And they couldn't tell me I go to urgent care They go We don't know well, I go to a dermatologist care. They go oh, Yeah we don't know Who has that joke About how urgent care Uh Two words that doesn't make sense that because it wasn't urgent and it wasn't care. Oh right, right. I don't know. I just um, saw that joke on Instagram. Or something. It's, it's good. Whoever that was, look out for that joke. Look out for that joke. It's and look funny. out for my rat. Actually, I'm better now. I'm clean, so don't worry about it. I don't like a rash. I'm rash free. I, I have like a little bit of a rash, rash, but I don't like when it has a rash. Was that? Is that like just it's you riffing from the dome? Riffing off the top, doggy. So, do you have any rashes since you've become single, or no, no rashes? I've been wrapping wrapping my dick up with <laughs> with a condom. Hell yeah, dude! Hell yeah, dude! You gotta can, keep it clean. Can I come? No, 
But I yeah, I don't know. I, I can I think I uh, I haven't had sex many times with a condom, I gotta say. It's been It's for the birds. It's for Philadelphia. It's for Philadelphia, those Philly, freaks out there. Philly should wrap up because they're disgusting. Yeah, that also because you don't want to spread the uh, the worst uh, S T D and that that's that's their genes really. They're putrid hey. awful genes. Hi, how you doing I'm from I Staten Island? Going. I look Go down on Philadelphia, hoagie. actually. Go get a hoagie, <laughs> you fucking losers. Um. Yeah, they really are not. They aren't great. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. I see you didn't want to talk about being single, but I guess no. we brought a brief thing. If you had to rank it, scale of one to ten, <laughs> how's it going out there? As your married friend, I got a wife. She's up in the attic. Okay, I have a wife and name only, and I, I, one day she'll come back down, but that day is not today. It sucks, man. I wrote a song about how sad I am. Um, okay, so is it more like a one or a two? Yeah, I'd say a three, 3.5. 3.5 out of 10. Okay, yeah. all right. Yeah. 3.5, baby. I think that's pretty good. That's all right. What's your baseline? Six? Seven? Five is, is like, oh, this is a normal day. Six is like, I'm having a good day. Seven's like, what's going on? What's Eight's going? like, holy hell. <laughs> yeah, my Nine, dying? I'm like... This is the best day of my life. Ten is actually the best day of your life. There would only be one ten. That's why I don't like when guys say that girl's a ten. There could only be one ten on earth. I appreciate that. Yeah, it's like figure skating. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, you have to you have to go down. It nine point nine. Point. Okay, yeah, I'll give you nine point nine. Yeah. But a perfect ten? No. They're one. very There's few. only one. There's one walking around. And maybe she got hit by a car. There's a new ten. <laughs> but uh probably not. Um, yeah. Who's I, your favorite celebrity hot babe? Oh man, are you kidding me? You're asking me that now? Come on, man. I fucking who would it be? So many names. I'm trying to think of a name. What was like a I guess Scarlett Johansson was like the big one. And then you all like of a sudden she starts old titties. What can you say? I mean, who who the who the hell does it? Yeah. But she then she married uh Colin Jost. And, and you then go, she became a seven. You're like I don't know. Well, that gives you hope, buddy. She's funny. I don't she want She likes that. a funny guy. I don't want that. Okay. No. No, I mean, Staten Island. I, it is kind of cool, though, that... Uh, <laughs> From your neck of the woods, baby. <laughs> yeah, basically. Then all you have to do is uh, be hit to the third choice or whatever. The Casey's a good kid. Colin's brother. I love that guy. They're all gentlemen. They're all fine people. They're yeah. all the best people. And God, God wishes them... Uh, I, I wish I wish them uh, the best of luck. I wish them the best of luck, and I wish you the best of luck. Thanks a lot for listening to episode 11 of The Two. It's not The. Why did I say The? I think it's because you're a moron. I think it's because I'm a moron. Let me try that again. Thank you for listening to episode 11 of Two Burrows. Two Bros. Two Bros. Two Bros. Thanks for hanging out with us. Guys, and, uh, like, subscribe. We hit a record of most downloads last week. Can you and, imagine? And we need to, to at least quadruple that I'm addicted this week. to the fix now. Now I need to keep breaking records. And if I don't, well, then I'm going to start breaking some microphones over people from Philadelphia's heads. And you don't want that. He's manic. Uh, love you. Like, subscribe. Bye-bye. Peace.